Hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show how to customize the Google Maps colors. By default, Google Map is loaded with this color that you are looking into. If you want to customize this based on your uh, website theme, then uh, this is the right place uh, to look into. So here, I'm using a uh, Google Map React component uh, to actually render my uh, Google Maps in uh, React. So the, here, I'm passing the API key that you need to generate from Google console and allow uh, JavaScript access to the library. So now uh, I'm going to show how to customize this. For this I'm going to create a new JavaScript file which will uh, export uh, the color themes that is required. I'm going to use multiple theme here. One is a dark mode and one is a light mode and then one is uh, the default mode. So for this I'm creating this file to export my settings. For this, uh, we need to go to snazzymaps.com to actually uh, find uh, different color themes. You can create your own theme or you can take the existing uh, theme that was uh, displayed. So you can explore the styles. So for this uh, demo purpose, I'm just going to go with one dark theme and one light theme. So let me find a very good dog. Yeah, okay, let me choose this shades of gray. You can click on this. If you want to customize, you can customize this color further. Or if you want to take uh, as it is, then you need to take, copy this JavaScript style array. Expand it. This is the style applied for each feature inside the map to copy the entire uh, array of uh, objects. It's uh, for different types of for water, uh, you can customize the color for the land, for the forest, all these administration areas, those kind of uh, customization was available. So let me uh, create a dark variable and place it. And again, let me go and search for a light theme. Okay, let me take, uh, let's go with this ultra light. This looks better. So again here, you need to copy this theme color, the JavaScript uh, style array color. As you did before to copy this. and uh, export this as a light theme so it can be a javascript uh, json file or can be however you use all the configs in your application and just for this demo i'm exporting this to uh, dark and light theme from javascript file so that i can import that in the map component and apply it to the maps so let me import it Styles. Okay, now you can directly access it through map styles dot dark map styles dot light. So for this, uh, we need to pass the uh, options to this uh, map component, uh, which is uh, Google Map React. So most of the other uh, Google Map components in React accept these parameters. You just check the document. If it is just styles, then you can apply it in the way that I'm applying it in this uh, library. So mostly it will be same. So I am using a light theme. So let's go and preview this. Yes. Now uh, the Google map is loading uh, in the light theme. So this is very simple. Uh, if you want to customize this uh, on uh, real time, let's say if uh, there was an option for a uh, user to switch between colors. Uh, we can also uh, do that in uh, real time using a uh, based on state. So we just need to have this uh, theme in uh, state and render it based on the state variable. 
so that we can update the state whenever we want the map will be customized for this i have uh, three buttons it looks like this so whenever user clicks on dark mode or light mode or default mode it will change in real time so i'm going to show how to do that for that i'm going to use a uh, react hook view state comp view state hook to actually uh, maintain the state uh, within a functional component so put, let me have it map styles and uh, set styles out of it By default, for the default uh, layout, uh, you don't need to pass anything. If you pass empty array, then uh, Google Maps default map will be loaded. So let's use this map styles to pass the components option, styles option. Now, whenever the user clicks on a button, we will uh, update uh, the current uh, user selected theme to the state map style. So that uh, I'm creating a new function within the class. You can directly upload or uh, update it in the on state on click function itself, but I used to write in this way. So there's nothing uh, wrong with the, uh, this approach. Map styles of for the chosen theme or we will pause the empty array so that the default maps will be loaded. Now uh, when I click on a button, I will uh, trigger the function and uh, I will update the state with the chosen uh, theme. So that I just need to pass the style that user clicks and uh, it will actually set the current styles theme to the state. So for this one, I'll pass the empty string so that uh, the empty array will be updated in the state. And let me pass the dark and light theme occurring to the on the respective buttons. We need to make this as a function. So by default, the map will be loaded with uh, the default map style. Then when we click on dark mode, the map style will be changed to dark mode uh, because we are uh, passing it from the state. Now when I click on light mode, it will uh, show the light map. So this is a very easy approach uh, to change uh, the color of the Google map theme based on your uh, search theme. I will give the uh, link for the demos in the description. From there you can find the source code of this uh, application. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe for more videos like this.